Good evening, and welcome to the fourth annual T.S. Eliot Memorial Reading, made possible through the immense generosity of the Eliot Foundation. Before we get started, I wanted to thank the Korea Institute for their publicity support this evening, and to Chris Madison of Zoland Editions for the stunning broadside he created for this occasion. I also wanted to express my profound thanks to Fiji Lee, who kindly allowed us to accompany this evening with her inimitable, multi-directional, polytemporal visions that combine physics, folklore, and feminism. And our sincerest thanks to Don Mi Che, a force for the good in this world, for her tremendous efforts to actualize this visit, not to mention her vital and unrelenting labor to bring Kim Hai Sun's poems into electrifying English. And I also want to express my gratitude to Kim Hyson's US publisher, New Directions, whose papers are held here at Houghton Library, and whose founding editor, James Lachlan, began New Directions here at Harvard as a sophomore in 1936. I think you'll agree that his 20th century literary startup is still going pretty strong. When I first arrived here at Harvard exactly 15 years ago this week, I was welcomed on my first day by a similarly brilliant and visionary sophomore, one Jack Jung. His warmth of welcome, his relentless curiosity and conviction about poetry, and his capacity for steadfast friendship accompanied me for my first three years here and helped pierce through the, at times, austere and lonely offices of Harvard University. I can still recall him saying, Jory Graham says I should consider translation. Clearly, he took that directive and ran with it. Um, when his award-winning translations of Yi Sang started to appear, we proudly displayed them in the poetry room as a testament to next generations of undergraduates, of whom many are here, of what they too could bring forth. Of Yi Sang's work, a scholar once said that he is a poet so fresh and relentlessly ahead that he is, quote, always in our future. And I must say that I think the same of Jack Jung, to whom I will soon pass the baton, but not before saying a few words about our esteemed reader this evening, Kim Hyson. When I first began thinking about tonight's event, an image kept recurring to me from the Parthenon marbles in which six men stand between a girl and a god. In the context of tonight, it's fair to say that we are in the presence of a poet who is the girl and the god, someone who has removed the metaphors and other mittens and gone straight to metamorphosis. Her work is like six minutes into Genesis. Kim Hyson does us the profound honor of restoring us and our world to its and our original strangeness. She gives us Genesis itself, formation itself, with all the violence and vitality and torques and forces and precarity and tenderness that that entails. She restores our very flesh to being what one philosopher has called the fifth element, a morphic place of participation, kin of dust and light. She reorients our earthenness and reveals our lives as extreme points of sky. Where there is impasse, she gives passage. Where there is ration, she gives irration. Where there is limitation, measure, constraint, gainsay, standby, gap, grief, the god far, she gives us flight and flock. Where there is human hurdle, where there is barbed wire nation, where there is the unmitigated interiority we sometimes mistake for life, she heads us towards the illimitation. But how does a translator enter into this ecstatic maelstrom, this serial metamorphosis? How does one insert oneself into a language that keeps being born? A difficult new language, writes Don Me, one that is at the extreme limits of the destiny of any human argot, a language that is irreducible to nation, that is still world. Well, you know you are in the presence of a poet who has achieved tremendous freedom of mind and body when the transla translators that have converged on her work manifest the same magnitude of mind and dynamism of spirit as the poet herself. It takes a particular kind of translator to keep the unknown in front of us to permit a poet's work to remain strange and aloft and undeterred in its travels. 
It is my privilege tonight to introduce a poet and translator who does just that, who guards the mysteries, who treats each word not simply as the conveyor of a contents, but the opening of a dimension. Please join me in welcoming the one and only Jack Jung. <laughs> Christina, thank you so much for that beautiful introduction, and thank you all for coming tonight for this uh, celebration of Kim Hesun's poetry. It is my great pleasure to introduce Kim Hesun and her translator Don Mi Choi. Poet Kim Hesun's work is a mesmerizing amalgamation of ghostly essence, vivid imagination, and profound interpretation of death showcasing the world filled with unnerving devastations, resistance, and dreams, her visions transcend mere observations, serving as transformative mirrors reflecting her experiences and encompassing world. Kim's are lines of lamenta personal lamentations sung against the backdrop of the restrictive societal structures of South Korea and the expensive global world she has endured. Her poetry envelops the reader in a sensory overflow, granting a glimpse into harsh realities both individual and collective, accessible even to those unacquainted with Korean culture and history. The enduring scars of the Korean War, the eras of US-supported military dictatorships, ongoing iniquities inflicted on women, marginalization of divergent gender and sexual identities, and the battle for human dignity at a time in a time dominated by the caprices of capital and unrestrained technological dystopia. To achieve this kind of poetry, Kim Hae Soon's genius inhabits her poems as a mirror reflecting the brutal realities of the intimate and civil upheavals, focus, forcing readers into the same violent, surreal spaces she navigates. By transforming herself into a mirror, Kim hae -sun reflects the chaotic, ruinous world through her verses, intertwining the world's rawness with her own, representing a symbiosis met and interpreted through poetry. Her approach is reminiscent of two mirrors facing each other, creating an infinity mirror that opens deep gaping holes on each other's surfaces, embodying the perpetual cycle of reflection between her and the world. Rendering the world's nakedness in him, into hypnotic lines of verse, Kim's poetry lifts the curtains of normality revealing grotesque realities through stark, arresting, and horrifically beautiful descriptions of innards of our bodies, dismemberments, cannibalisms, excretions, annihilations, and much more, all met with the rhythmic precision in her Korean syllables, inducing a dreamlike state in readers. Born during a time of oppressive military rule in South Korea, Kim's poetry is a form of resistance, where death is not an extinction, but an unending continuity. It depicts the desolation of metaphysical and physical worlds, leading into another layer of her peculiar mirroring, where her swift and lively rhythm and gruesome imagery of death reflect each other, creating yet another infinity mirror, in this case of death and life. The deep imprint of Korean shamanism can be felt here, where death is not triumphed or transcended, unlike Christianity, for instance, but signifies the ultimate limit of perception, revealing the grotesque without promising change, thus representing a symbiotic, everlasting relationship between life and death. Kim Hesun's rich, complex metaphors and imagery unfold like a pair of magnificent wings transforming anguish and oppression into a vivacious, mesmerizing flight, leading readers into an intricate dance with shadows, inviting them to witness the metamorphosis of the soul. Her words ultimately craft a portrait of a world unbounded by time and space, 
where the ephemeral and eternal coalesce, culminating in a haunting symphony oscillating between realms seen and unseen, known and unknown. And her translator, poet Don Miche, plays an essential role in rendering Kim's visions in English. Together, they unravel a layered perspective of South Korea's haunting history and its place in the world, challenging conventional perceptions of language and reality. Don Miche, acclaimed for translating Korean poetry and championing experimental poetics, interprets Kim's works and brings forth Kim's unique self throughout many volumes of poetry in translation, including the latest titled Phantom Pain Wings. Kim Hyesun's Phantom Pain Wings is arguably a I Do Bird collection. I Do Bird is a phrase that appears in the very first poem of the book, which says, this book is not really a book. It's an I Do Bird sequence. It is Don Mi's translation of Kim Hyesun's Korean line, Sehanen, into English. What kind of movement does I Do Bird imply? The juxtaposition of the noun bird and the predicate to do, denoting action or effect, perhaps feels strange at first. Sentences like, a bird does something, where the bird is the subject, or become a bird, or even how to do a bird, would be considered more natural by many English speakers. However, in the Korean original, sehanen, it is also not clear whether the bird is the subject or the object. There is an ambiguity where the position of bird could either be subject or object or both. Kim Hyesun's precisely crafted phrase makes this sentence break down the rigid grammatical boundaries between subject and object, agent and entity. This powerful and captivating performative sentence which erases the hierarchy between human and animal or subject and object is the driving mechanism that penetrates phantom pain wings. In the phrase, I do bird, we also witness Don Miche's translation methodology in action as it captures the rhythm, the intrigue, and the utter peculiarity of the original. Its catchy strangeness is almost revolutionary. There I say, there are echoes of just do it here challenging the conventions of the English language, even though I and bird seems to have returned to subject and object to their places, the positioning of do in between the two disrupts that relationship much like in the original, while maintaining the mercurial three-syllable rhythm, sehanen, I do bird. As Joel McSweeney said in a recent review of Phantom Pain Wings, I do bird indicates directions of flight that are both sublime and bodily, physically inside and at the same time spatially and or spiritually beyond. I also believe that in these kind of translations, Che seeks to peel off the English language. By peeling off, I mean that the translation reenacts the quirks of the original without trying to streamline or simplify. This technique renews the target language, in this case, English, and brings forth a fresh perspective, free from the corruptions imposed by dominant powers. I say the corruptions imposed by dominant powers because Don Miche's perspective on translation also speaks to the deeper political implications of language and identity which she wrote about in her pamphlet, Translation is a Mode, Translation is an Anti-Colonial Mode. By bringing forth the idea of language corruption and American imperialism's effects on Korea, Donmi explores the complex dynamics between dominant and marginalized cultures. The American influence, once an oppressive force, is now intricately linked with Korea's linguistic and cultural identity. Thus, in translating Korean poetry into English, the act goes beyond merely crossing linguistic borders. It is about redefining those borders, understanding the shared histories and witnessing how English and Korean now mirror each other, reminiscent of Kim Hyesun's infinite mirrors. Kim Hyesun and Don Miche, embracing the two-ness of mirrors facing one another, show the art of poetry and translation as an aggregate 
a collective enunciation. Kim and Choi's works are not about crossing borders or defining national literature. Instead, they are reflections of a collective intertwined destinies and experiences, mirrors revealing the ruin within. And sometimes, when we confront these reflections, we understand our collective self, our shared ruins, and the profound truths they reveal. Through this mirrored reflection of Tunis, Kim Hesun and Dong Miche invite readers to traverse the realms of devastation and transformation, to see the world and themselves through the infinite mirrors of poetry and translation. So as we delve deeper into this poetic realm, let's not just attempt to decipher or relate, let's experience it, live it, feel it. Let the bird fly into the gaping holes on the surfaces of mirrors facing one another. As Kim Hesun and Don Mi suggest, let's not just look at the bird, let's do bird. Thank you again for this opportunity to introduce Kim Hesun and Don Mi Che. Without further ado, please join me in welcoming them. Sejipun 당신이 세계에 잡으면 뼈가 똑 부러지는 그런 사, 작은 새가 태어나는 순서 새하는 여자를 보고도 시가 모른 척하는 순서 여자는 죽어가지만 새는 점점 크는 순서 죽을 만큼 아프다고 죽겠다고 두 손이 결박되고 치마가 날개처럼 찢어지자 다행히 날수 있게 되었다고 나는 종종 그렇게 날수 있었다고 문득 발을 떼고 난간 아래 새하는 일종의 새소리 번역의 기록 그 순서 밤에 시체가 부푸는 밤에 억울한 영혼이 파도쳐 오는 밤에 새가 한 마리 세상의 모든 밤 밤의 꼭지를 입에 물고 송곳같이 뾰족한 에베레스트를 넘는 순서 눈이 검고 작아진 새가 손으로 감싸질 만큼 작아진 새가 입술을 맞대어도 알아듣지 못할 말을 중얼거리는 새가 새의 혀는 새순처럼 가늘고 태아의 혀처럼 얇은데 그 작은 새가 이불을 박차고 내 몸을 박차고 흙을 박차고 나가는 순서 결단코 새하지 않으려다 새하는 내가 결단코 이 시집은 책은 아니지만 새라고 말하는 내가 이 삶을 뿌리치리라 결단코 뿌리치리라 물에서 솟구친 새가 날개를 터는 시집 시방 새의 시집엔 시간의 발자국이 쓴 낙서 세상에서 제일 무거운 연필을 들고 가느다란 새의 발이 남기는 낙서 혹은 낙서 속에서 유서 이 시집은 새가 나에게 속한 줄 알았더니 내가 새에게 속한 것을 알게 되는 순서 그 순서의 뒤늦은 기록 이것을 다 적으면 이 시집을 벗어나 종이처럼 얇은 난간에서 발을 떼게 된다는 약속 그리고 뒤늦은 후회의 기록 Birds Poetry Book This book is not really a book it's an I do bird sequence, a record of the sequence. When I take off my shoes, 
stand on the railing and spread my arms with eyes closed, feathers poke out of my sleeves. Bird cries out from me, day, record. I do bird, day, record, as I caress bird's cheeks. Air is saturated with wounds. Beneath the wounds matted over me, bird's cheekbones are viciously pointed, yet its bones crack easily when gripped. The birth sequence of such a tiny bird. Poetry ignores the I do bird woman sequence. Woman is dying, but bird is getting bigger sequence. She says, the pain is killing me. When my hands are tied and my skirt rips like wings, I can finally fly. I was always able to fly like this. Suddenly, she lifts her feet. Translation of a certain bird's chirping record of I do bird below the railing sequence. Night's carcass bloats, waves of tormented spirits, one bird. All the nights of the world, bird carrying the night's nipple over the pointed as an owl Mount Everest sequence. Bird with dark eyes has shrunken. Bird has shrunken enough to be cupped in my hands. Bird mumbles something incomprehensible even when my lips touch its beak. Bird's tongue is as delicate as a bud, as thin as the tongue of a fetus. The tiny bird kicks off the blanket kicks my body, kicks the dirt, and exits, sequence. I end up doing I do bird even if I resist doing it. I end up saying this is not a book of poems, but a bird. I'll overcome this existence. Finally, I'll be free of it. Bird flies out of water, shaking its wings, poetry book. Now scribbles of time's footsteps appear in the book. Scribbles left by skinny bird legs made with the world's heaviest pencil. Perhaps there's a will left in the scribbles. This book is about the realization of I thought bird was part of me, but I was part of bird sequence. It's a delayed record of such a sequence. The promise of being freed from the book and being able to step off the paper thin railing if I write everything down is the delayed record of my regret. Going, going, going. Sega naril orinda, hepichi cream jaril orid. Orion and jarido kumongi tronda, nega naganda. Sega naril orinda, shigani naril orid. Orion and jarido, porogin ivi tronda. Nega kui bakuro nagataga, kionga rotura onda, tashinaganda. Going, going, gone. Bird cuts me out like the way sunlight cuts out shadows. Hole enters the spot where I was cut out. I exit. Bird cuts me out like the way time cuts me. Gaping mouth enters the cutout. I exit through the open mouth, then return as a deformed child. I exit again. I take a step toward where I don't exist. I take a step toward where I don't exist. Bird doesn't cut me out. Behind the wall, I'm on standby forever. Sangshio, sangshio. 알고 싶지 않다 당신의 마음 알고 싶지 않다 당신의 처절 도시는 아무것도 알고 싶지 않다 하지만 나에게 여러 넘버들을 매겨 주었지 나는 이 도시에서 더 이상 자리를 차지하지 않겠다 더 이상 먹지도 않겠다 불이처럼 입술에 조개 껍데기를 물고 물고기의 피를 얼굴에 바르고 바람의 손목을 두 손에 나눠 잡고 웃어주겠다, 증발하겠다, 은퇴하겠다. 나는 도시의 눈에 띄지 않겠다. 얼마나 오래 걸었을까? 아이스크림집, 빵집, 책방, 국수집, 아케이드를 잘근잘근 씹어서 먹으면 뜨거운 해변이 목구멍에서 쏟아질 것 같다. 나는 이제 줄이 긴 새떼가 될 거다. 
이 도시를 칭칭 감을 거다. 그러면 새떼가 말할 거다. 도로들이 일어서게 한 다음 자당, 자동차를 공중에 띄우고 새떼가 공중에 뜬 강물로 활강에 갈 거다. 금빛 가는 실로 검은 바다에 술을 놓던 한 마리 새가 바다를 물고 하늘 높이 솟구쳤다가 그만 탁 놓아버리면 물결이 도시를 뒤덮을 거다. 내 공책의 행가 행사이로 물이 들어올 거다. 새들은 발바닥에 쌍시옷이 두개 달렸다. 한강에 달이 난간 위새한 마리, 왼발에 미래, 오른발에 과거, 어깨엇 어깨, 어깨, 엉덩이를 흔들며 걸어가고 내 일기엔 쌍시옷이 쌓인다. 그리하여 나는 공책에 긴 줄을 내리 그으며 새는 누구에게도 먼저 말 걸지 않는다. 물론 나도 그러겠다. 얼굴에 기틀을 기르겠다. 날아가겠다. 라고 쓴다. Um, in this poem, Kim e s u n uses um, a Korean uh, double consonant, s h i t So I used um, letter in English just for the, the, for the um, sonic uh, transference, I used double S. Double S, double S. Shitty doesn't want to know your mind. Shitty doesn't want to know your sorrow. Shitty doesn't want to know anything, yet it offers me several numbers. I'll no longer take up any space in this shitty. I'll no longer eat anything. I'll pick a clam with my lips as if I had a beak, smudge, fish blood onto my face and grab the wrist of the wind in two equal strands. I'll laugh, I'll evaporate, I'll retire, I'll stay inconspicuous. How long have I walked when I chew, chew the arcade, ice cream shop, bakery, bookstore, noodle shop? It feels as if scorching sandy beach is about to pour out from my throat. I'll now become a long trail of birds. I'll swaddle the city, then the flock of birds will speak. Next, please draw lines to match similar words. Tree, boat, boat has grown roots. Flower, whale, whale of the south is a flower bed. Sunlight, ice, cut the sunlight into cubes and build the wall cube by cube. Ant, river, as soon as I dipped my feet into the river, I realized the river's current was a swarm of ants. Streets make the cars set up, then suspend them up in the air and, flock, and the flock of birds slides down to the river. When the bird embroiders the dark sea with a golden thread, then snatches up the sea in its beak, soars up and lets go of it, the sea currents will swell over the city. Seawater sea will leak from between the lines of my notebook. Birds have double S dangling from the bottom of their feet. Bird on the railing of the bridge of Han River. Future on its left foot, past on its right foot. Lessness, lessness, lessness. Bird waddles by swaying its butt and double S pile up in my diary. In the shitty center, I suddenly feel the world is so small. I become claustrophobic. Therefore, I draw a line across my notebook, scribbling away. Bird never speaks to anyone first. Of course, I'm the same way. My face will grow feathers. I'll fly away. <laughs> Hey, 
네 목구멍이 목마름으로 다 들어가듯 네 몸의 새가 타올랐음 해 키득키득 네 입술 밖으로 연기가 새어나오고 내 몸에 안고 싶은 새가 더더더 달아오르는 나날 가슴 위에 얹은 네 오른손이 마치 네 엄마처럼 새들로 꽉찬네 가슴을 지그시 누르고 매일 그런 자세로 나를 네 안의 새들이 찬란했음 Glimmer, you must. Birds I seated inside your body feel all lumpy. You must. Your blood is replaced with bird's blood. You must. Every day your footsteps stomp, stomp up in the air. Every day idiotic, stupid you can't find the door to your own body. You who wants to become me became frantic to leave your body. You must. It's a muggy summer, but the ground below feels endlessly distant, like autumn. Like the way your throat is parched from thirst, your body's birds combust. You must. Puffs of smoke leak from your lips, and birds, and birds that want to perch on my body become hot, hot, hotter by the day. Bam, bam, inside your heart's nest, a single beat for each hatchling. The day I glimpse howling birds outside the windows of your lukewarm eyes. The day wings quickly sprout, but they're inside the rock. Like your mummy, your right hand gently pushes down on your chest filled with birds. You do that to me every day in same position. Birds inside you glimmer. You must. 바닥이 바닥이 아니야. 발목에 묶인 은줄이 빛난다. 엄마는 태어나자마자 나에게 세 장을 입혔지만 발이 푹푹 빠지는 트램펄린 밤, 흰 오로라처럼 사라지는 토끼 모양 그림자, 트램펄린 밤 속으로 나는 튀어오른다. 누가 언제 왜 어디서 어떻게 무엇으로는 설명할 수 없는 얼굴과 마주보고 튀어오른다. 우리 엄마를 낳아서 소녀로 기르고 시집 보내고 나를 낳게 하고 이제 할머니를 만들어서 병들어 눕게 한 달빛이 은줄 위에 빛난다. 나와봐 나와봐 네 면상을 치고 말 테다. 나는 달을 향해 두 손을 뻗는다. 우리 엄마는 호스피스에 두고 나는 트램펄린 춤. 엄마는 보러 가지 않고 달을 무찌르는 춤. 내 춤은 추면서 배는 춤이야. 쿵쿵 큰 소리 나는 춤. 트램펄린 밤, 트램펄린 산, 트램펄린 숲. 푹푹 토끼 그림자 늪 속으로 빠지는 밤. 저들과 싸울 거야. 저들을 뵐 거야. 저 산을 유혹할 거야. 이것 봐. 이건 마셔 봐. 한 여름의 장마 주스. 더위 끝 태풍 스쿼시. 저 숲에게 권할 거야. 이것 봐. 이건 마셔 봐. 나는 하늘과 땅 사이를 베고 싶다. 엄마가 누운 곳만 배, 빼고 다 베고 싶다. 왜 엄마를 태어나게 하고 왜 죽게 하는 거야? 매일매일 내 몸을 조여오는 이세 장을 벗지 못하는 나는 전적으로 바닥에 의지해 사는 나는 트램펄린 트램펄린 도약 도약 하지만 내 춤의 안무는 슬픔이 하는 걸까 불안이 하는 걸까 아침이 시작되는 거짓말, 도움 닫기, 높이 뛰기, 저녁이면 시작되는 거짓말, 곤두박질 앞구르기, 두 발에 매달린 은줄이 찰랑거린다. 이 지구는 자전과 공존이라던데, 내 치마처럼 흘러덩 돌기만 한다던데, 왜 죽어, 왜 죽어, 온몸을 찌르는 잉크처럼 나를 적시는 달빛, 이 빛을 다 베면 죽음이 멈출까. 세 장을 입은 채 나는 싸운다. 저 숲과 저 산과 저 밤과 저들을 다 베면 우리 엄마가 살까? Floor is not a floor. Sparkly silver chains on my ankles. As soon as mummy hatched, she dressed me in a bird cage. My feet keep sinking into the trampoline night. Like a white aurora, the rabbit-shaped shadow dissipates. 
I bounce into the trampoline night. Who, when, why, how, where, what? I bounce up facing the inexplicable face. The shiny moonlight on my silver chains gave birth to mummy, raised and married her off, then made her have me, and now turns her into a sick, bedridden granny. I stretch my hands out to the moon. Come out, come out, I'm going to slap your face. I leave mummy in hospice, and I dance a trampoline dance. I don't go to see mummy. Instead, I dance fighting the moon. My dance slays as I dance. My dance makes loud thumping sounds. Trampoline night, trampoline mountain, trampoline forest. Sink, sink into the rabbit shadow, swamp, night. I'll fight them, I'll slay them. I'll seduce the mountain, look here, drink this. Summer's monsoon juice, end of heat wave, typhoon slush. I'll offer it to the forest. Look here, drink this. Cool autumn rain mixed fruit nectar to seduce the giant who lives in the forest. I want to slay the space between sky and land. I want to slay every place except where mummy is lying. I want to slay the rain falling like a black velvet curtain. I want to slay the geraniums under the drops of moonlight. Why did you let mummy be born? And why do you let her die? I can't take off my birdcage dress. It strangles me more each day. I'm entirely dependent on the floor. Trampoline, trampoline. Does my dress bring destruction? Bird wearing birdcage with lace curtains. Jumps, jumps. Is sorrow choreographing my dance? Or is it anxiety? Lies begin in the morning. They do hurdles, high jumps. Lies begin at night. They fall over to forward rolls. My silver anklets clang. They say earth revolves and rotates, orbiting, swirling like my skirt. So why should mummy die? Why? Moonlight soaks me like ink, pocking my whole body. Will death stop if I slay all the moonlight? I fight still wearing my birdcage with forest with mountain, with night. If I slay them all, will mummy live? Sip senti. Kanok tonsanen gatinda, bichoso. Nanen ame aril pumotago sunda. Sajone gritja dilvie kamake sunda. Sejange anja sunda. Sonul jaba bumion arayo. 당신은 새가 아니군요. 당신은 더러운 손을 내미는군요. 간수가 오면 나는 내 혀를 두꺼운 책 속에 감추어 둔다. 어느 아침은 높이 날았고 어느 아침은 깊이 떨어졌다고 쓴다. 떠나고 싶을 때 떠날게요라고 쓴다. 동터울 때 불이로 쓴다. 가다가 서고 가다가 울고 나는 내가 만든 세상에서는 멀리 갈수 있답니다. 노래도 아니고 메아리도 아니고 아주 멀지만 자유만 있는 장소에서 나는 그곳을 나는 새입니다. 겨우 지상에서 십 센티 떠오른 채 새장엔 미친 새 어느새 새가 된새그 칼날의 울음소리 미친 게 분명한 새그 새의 신발끈은 부러져 땅에 끌리고 그 새의 머리끈은 풀어져 측백 나름물을 칭칭 감고 하지만 나는 나는 것이 좋아 먼길 떠나는 것이 좋아 모국어 사전에 혀가 물린 천사는 입속이 뜨거울 정도로 상냥하답니다 라고 쓴다 10 centimeters Angel gets locked up now and then for insanity I write that I sit on someone else's egg. In black, I scribble all over the pages of the dictionary. I write sitting inside a bird cage. I can tell when I hold your hand that you're not a bird. You stick out your dirty hand. When the guard arrives, I hide my tongue inside the thick book. I write, one morning I flew up high. One morning I plunged deep down. I write, I'll take off when I want to. 
I write with my beak at the crack of dawn. I fly, then stop. I fly, then chirp. Inside my made-up world, I can go very far. Not a song, not an echo, but a faraway place where there's only freedom. I'm bird, bird flying in that place. I float a mere 10 centimeters from the ground. Crazy bird in a cage. Once, as I was flying across the night sky, your arrow pierced my heart. Flutter, flutter, anxiety disorder, spasm disorder. That's how bird became a bird. In the blink of an eye, bird became bird. Knife blade like chirps, bird is definitely mad. Bird's shoestrings come untied, dragging on dirt. Bird's hair ribbon comes untied, winding a cypress tree. But I love, love flying. I love going far away. I write, angel whose tongue got bit by the mother tongue dictionary is polite to the point that its mouth is burning. Cho. 기쁘다 구주 오셨네 하면 기쁘다 내 죽음이 오신 것 같고 기쁜 우리 젊은 날 하면 그가 나를 죽인 기쁜 날 같고 기쁨의 복음을 하면 나 죽은 기쁜 소식 널리 전하세 하는 것 같고 쌍비읍 때문인가 아빠 오빠 기쁨은 한 통속이어서 결국 내 숨을 끌어오는 것 같고 나가 나가 내 방에서 나가 나를 태워야 너를 내쫓을 것 같았는데 여고생들이 스크럼을 짜고 울면서 나가 나가 내 방에서 나가 행진할 때 제일 눈물이 났습니다. 우는 사람이 우는 사람에게 얼굴을 기울여 눈물로 불을 당겨주면 첫눈 내린 날 붉은 소매를 뚫고 유령들이 흩어지고 흩어지고 별은 누가 만져주기 전까지 뒤집어져 있었습니다. 기쁨의 주 밝은 빛을 주시네 하면 결국 내 몸을 태워 내두 눈이 씨앗을 때처럼 밝아지는 것 같고 입을 꺼뜨리면 천지의 새들이 다 날개를 펼수 없을 것 같고. Candle. When you say joy to the world, it's like joy, my death has come. When you say our joyful days of youth, it's like joyful day, he murdered me. When you preach the gospel of joy, it's like, please spread the happy news of my death. Is it because of double P? Papa, Oppa, happy are in cahoots, finally coming for me. Get out, get out, get out of my room. I know I should set myself on fire to kick you out. But I wept the most when high school girls, their arms locked, marched, and cried, get out, get out, get out of my room. When someone sobbing gets in the face of another sobber, igniting in tears, ghosts bore holes through my red sleeves and scatter on the first day of snow, and stars stay inverted till they are caressed. When you say Lord of joy gives us bright light, it's like my eyes glow as they sprout from my body's ashes. When you put out this light, it's like all the birds of the world can spread their wings. Oh my, Pengtang. 눈 속에 파묻힌 흰 토끼야. 하얀 시트, 하얀 베개, 좋은 잠옷, 우리 엄마. 두 손을 포개고 눈 속에 누운 흰 토끼의 정적. 아무것도 안 듣는 기들은 자라서 가까이 다가가면 때 묻은 구름이 되었네. 내리는 눈송이처럼 강물에 앉은 안개처럼 안을 수 없는 흰 토끼야. 식물 인간이란 말은 식물에 대한 모독일까 격려일까. 식물 인간의 영혼이 가득 고인 병원의 복도를 걸어가네. 옛날 옛날에 천재 소녀가 살았는데 소녀는 늙어서 침대 위에 흰 토끼가 되었네. 이름이 뭐예요? 물으면 잊었어요. 말도 못하는 주춤 주춤 넓어지는 희디인 불구가 되었네. 우리는 맹렬하게 자라서 무엇이 될까? 희디인 토끼를 이불에서 꺼내 흔들어 보네. Mom is 
expansion. She's a white rabbit buried in snow. White sheets, white pillows, nice nighty, my mummy. White rabbit lying still under the snow with its paws crossed. Her ears that don't listen to anything have grown up. When I go near them, they become filthy clouds, like falling snowflakes, like fog on the river. Mummy's a bunny that can't be held. Human vegetable, is this term meant to insult or praise plants? Mummy walks the hospital hallway filled with souls of human vegetables. Long, long ago, there lived a genius girl. She grew old and turned into a white bunny in a bed. What's your name? I forgot. She can barely speak. She became disabled and snow white, growing wider and wider. What will we become after we grow up fierce? We pull out the whitest white bunny from under the blanket and shake it. Pre-ghost. What comes out of my eyes besides my loving tears? What do my pupils taste like? Do souls taste like them? Can I say the light beaming out of my eyes is light? Say the light belongs to my body because it streams from me. Is the glitter in my eyes already a ghost? What can I say about the look in mommy's eyes when she opened the door? Mommy who cried for three months and 10 days after daddy passed away. What about the light in my daughter's eyes when she saw my face in color for the first time after I'd been floating in dark water for 280 days? Do we see the world through the soul's hills? Do we dream standing up? What's that light beaming out of the eyes of my family as we say to each other, let's eat before the food gets cold and share the body of living things? What's that light reflecting from two sips of water spilled on the ground? The gaze of the stars hovering outside my window. What are they like? What do you call the sorrow that keeps on staring even after it's dead? Chakuchakukuradan Kurokesenga 나를 혼자 두면 둘수록 새가 되는 새가 있다. 쪼르르르 달려가서 벽에 머리를 박는 이게 무슨 일이라 한 번도 포기하지 않고 이쪽 끝에서 저쪽 끝까지 채꼬지에 꽂힌 채 부리를 뾰족이 세우고 테니스 경기 갈라마는 얼굴들이 이쪽 저쪽 쉬지 않고 왔다 갔다 하는 것처럼 방에는 새가 있다. 
뜨거운 겨드랑이에 체온계를 꽂은 현기증이 있다. 너 괜찮니? 물어도 고개를 까닥까닥 혼자 있으면서도 사교를 쉬지 않는 저 태도. 너무 예민해져서 그 방에 들어갈 수가 없는데도 달아나면 어떡하나 자주 새를 보러 갔다. 점점 새가 된다. 힐끗 새, 문득 새, 잠깐 새가 된다. 만원 지하철에서 새가 된다. 나보다 뇌가 천배나 작은 새가 된다. 지하철 바닥에 모여든 쥐떼 같은 이빨을 갈아대는 신발들 사이에서 발발 떠는 새가 된다. 아저씨가 엘리베이터에서 재채기를 한다. 새가 된다. 전봇대 아래에서 비둘기가 자동차에 깔린다. 새가 된다. 자주 새, 더 자주 새, 점점 더 자주 새가 된다. 백야의 밤에 태어난 새처럼 잠을 자지 않는 새가 된다. 내가 들여다보면 노래하지 않다가 내가 떠나면 노래하는 새가 된다. 빨대 같은 목구멍에서 커다란 숲을 개우는 새가 된다. 먼저 살을 벗고 그 다음 뼈를 벗고 이제 새만 남은 새가 된다. 그 새가 저를 들여다보는 초라한 나를 본다. 이제 돌이킬 수 없게 되었다. 내 인생의 유일한 기적으로 이렇게 되었다. 내가 또 방을 들여다보자. 새가 처음으로 입을 열어 내가 말했다. 가, 가, 아빠, 네가 죽은 방에서 나는 새가 된다. Bird's Diary Daddy, I become bird in the room where you died. My ribs become round. I become bird always on the lookout. The room with shrunken landscapes neatly stacked on a bookshelf. A Mayan woman crushes a dead man's skull and bakes the head with only a skin left in the hot sand. The shrunken head, smaller than a fist, is excavated from the sand. It's the face of a bird with long hair stuck to it. She threads his ears and wears the head around her neck. I borrow a hole in the door and peer at the last night's bird. The whites of the bird's eyes have vanished. Only the black pupils are left. I lie down at the bottom of the swimming pool and think, there's a bird in my room, a bird that can give birth to a featherless, a bird that can give birth to featherless chicks. As I think this, a gigantic bird suddenly soars up from the bottom of the pool. I hold on to someone's waist, waist on a motorcycle, speeding at dawn and think, I have a bird. As I think this, a huge bird is on the back seat of the motorcycle. I have a shrunken face, like the skull's skin hanging from the Mayan woman's neck. I have a bird that becomes more bird the more I am alone. Bird that runs and bangs its head against the wall. What's going on? Bird never stops running back and forth, with its pointed beaks stuck to the bookshelf, like the spectator's heads moving side to side non-stop during a tennis match. There's a bird in my room. There's dizziness of a thermostat stuck in my hot armpit. Are you all right? I ask. Bird bobs its head, always social, even if it's all alone. Even though I've become hypersensitive, I keep returning to the room to check on the bird, worried that it might fly away. I become bird more, more. I become glimpse bird, sudden bird, brief bird. I become bird on a jam-packed subway train. I become bird with a brain a thousand times smaller than mine. I become trembling bird, between teeth grinding shoes swarming onto the train's floor like a pack of rats. A mister sneezes inside the elevator. I become bird. A pigeon gets run over by a car under the electric pole. I become bird. I become frequent bird, more frequent bird, more, more frequent bird. S sleepless bird, like a bird hatched under the midnight sun bird that stops singing when I peer in. It sings only after I depart. Bird that vomits an enormous forest from its straw-like throat. I take off flesh first, next skeleton. Bird that has nothing left but bird. 
Bird watches shabby me staring at it. Now I can't turn back. The one miracle in my life made me like this. When I peer into the room again, Bird speaks to me for the first time. Go, go. Daddy, in the room where you died, I become Bird. I was born in the country. 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 전국토가 내 발자국을 거부한다는데 내 얼굴을 다한데 숨 쉬면 죽인데 울면 안 된대 아빠 나는 물 속으로 달아나 눈을 감으면 몸이 떠올라 전부 물이야 아빠 봐물 속에선 목이 더 말라 그래서 몸이 떠올라 이봐 벽에서도 누울 수 있어 천장을 딛고 걸을 수도 있어 몸을 둥그렇게 말고 나라 책장에서 책이 쏟아지고 그릇들이 날아가 집이 기울어 수압이 높은 곳에선 시간은 두 발을 끌며 천천히 걷고 침대 밑에선 일천 살짜리 거북이가 나와 여기선 새가 열 손가락으로 얼굴을 가리고 걸어 누가 알아보고 손가락질을 할까 봐 아빠 내가 고개를 숙이고 빌딩 아래로 조용히 날아가면 심해에 앉은 선생님이 죽기가 얼마나 힘든데 빛을향에 올라가 더 올라가 엉덩이를 떠밀어 태양은 노란 수상 가옥처럼 수면 위에 앉아있고 외로운 잠수자의 가슴엔 흐느낌이 차올라 물속에선 신발을 잃어버리기 마련이야 휴대전화를 잃어버리기 마련이야 여권을 잃어버리기 마련이야 나는 지금 공중에서 아파 죽을 만큼 아파, 죽을 만큼 목이 말라, 눈을 뜨고 싶지만 이 나라가 나에게 잡히기만 해봐라. 그런데 전 국토가 내두 발을 거부한대. Don't fly in this country. Daddy, I was born here, yet I'm told to escape. I've lived here all my life, but I'm not allowed anymore. This nation is out looking for me. Borders are sealed. I'm told to get out. All of his territory rejects my footprint. They all know my face. They'll kill me if I breathe. I'm not allowed to cry. Daddy, I escaped into the water. My body floats when I close my eyes. Nothing but water. Daddy, look. I get even thirstier on the water. That's why my body floats up. Look, I can even lie down on walls. I can also walk on ceilings. I roll up my body and fly. Books fall from my shelves. My dishes fly away. My house leans sideways. Time drags its feet slowly along where water pressure is high. A thousand-year-old turtle crawls out from under my bed. Here, bird walks with its ten fingers over its face, worried that someone might recognize it and point a finger at it. Worry that its body might float ridiculously in front of people. Daddy, when I lower my head and quietly fly down to the bottom of the building, my teacher sitting at the bottom of the ocean says, it's so difficult to die. Go up toward the light, go higher, push up your butt. Sun sits on top of sleep like a yellow houseboat, and a lonely diver's tears well up from his chest. You're bound to lose your shoes in water. You're bound to lose your cell phone. You're bound to lose your passport. Right now, I'm ill up in the air. I'm deathly ill, unbearably thirsty. I want to open my eyes, but my nation says, wait till I catch you. All of its territory rejects my feet. Anna, if you do Anna. 레이스가 없으면 슬립을 입지 않아 때리면 피가 나는 드럼이 있어 맞으면서도 춤추는 데를 떠나지 않아 무너진 바다에 무너진 배 무너진 밤 무너진 배는 떠나지 않아 교황 아버지 앞에선 촛불을 들고 춤을 춰야 해 물속에 비친 촛불은 흐르는 피를 닦지 않아 
출렁출렁 고통밖에 없는 고통이 흐릿한 뼈를 일으키는 밤 이생의 모든 내 얼굴이 나를 불러도 돌아보지 않아 물속엔 메아리가 없어서 울지도 않아 내가 여기 없어도 나는 떠나지 않아 아직 않아 Not I don't walk without music I don't wear a slip without lace There's a drum that bleeds when you beat on it It doesn't leave the dance hall despite the beating Shattered sea with a shattered boat Shattered night Shattered boat doesn't depart You must dance holding a candle in front of Holy Father. Candlelight reflected in the water doesn't wipe off the blood. Torment rippling with torment raises a pale bone at night. I don't look back even when a lifetime of my faces call me. I don't cry inside the water because it's <laughs> echoless. I don't depart even if I'm not here. Not yet. 자폐 천 벨라스케스의 교황 인노첸시오 십사에서 베이커는 디오고 디에고 벨라스케스의 인노첸시오 십사에서 시작한 습작이 탄생하고 베이커의 디에고 벨라스케스의 인노첸시오 십사에서 시작한 습작에서 나의 교황 순수가 탄생한다. 나는 노을을 입술처럼 그리는 사람, 노을의 중심에 이빨을 매다는 사람, 노을을 아름다운 새고기처럼 쓰다듬는 사람, 노을을 구광질환처럼 그리는 사람. 이 사람은 피 흘리는 속치마를 입그 위에 겉옷을 걸친 여자입니다. 우리가 치유해 주겠도다. 우리가 치유해 주겠도다. 그러니 고백하라. 그러니 고백하라. 사방에서 들려오는 더러운 말씀 나는 교황의 얼굴에 심의 아기의 이빨을 그려놓는 사람 하루에 세번 이상 한 번에 삼십 회 이상 교황님의 손이 식탁에서 위로 올라가 저 거룩한 얼굴 하단부에 달린 저 구멍으로 바다 깊은 곳에서 건져 올린 것이며 하늘을 날던 것이며 초원을 뛰어놀던 것이며 트럭이며 수레며 기선이며 저 구강 기간의 거룩한 의식이여 흰옷 입은 교황의 자제분들이 나를 둘러싸고 소리친다 시스는 여자 한 명에 천 명의 의사가 필요해 내 상처의 위아래에 매달린 이빨들이 붉게 물드네 말하라 말하라 일천 명의 인부가 포크레인으로 내 입속에 혀를 파헤치지만 내 입속에서 끝없이 입을 벌린 아기가 줄토되지만 하지만 나는 절대 고백 따윈 하지 않아. 내가 낳은 고백을 네가 찌르면 내 허벅지에서 피가 나니까. 나의 잇몸들이 일제히 속치마를 벗고 침을 흘리면 일천마리의 심의 아귀들이 일제히 지퍼를 내리고 침을 흘린다. 나는 치마 밑으로 이빨 달린 노을을 줄줄 싸는 여자. 다 썩은 나면 두 다리 사이에 보름달을 끼우고 어르고 달래는 여자. Um, Kim h s u n first read the footnote for this poem, um, and the footnote for the poem reads, "From Diego Velazquez's portrait of Pope Innocent X emerges Francis Bacon's study after Velazquez's portrait of Pope, Pope Innocent X, and from Bacon's study after." Velazquez's portrait of Pope Innocent X emerges my innocent Pope. Autism, 1000. I'm someone who draws the sunset as lips. I'm someone who hangs teeth in the middle of the sunset. I'm someone who strokes the sunset as if it were beautiful beef. I'm someone who paints the sunset like a diseased mouth. The woman has a dress on over her blooded slip. We'll heal you, we'll comfort you, so confess, so confess. Filthy words from every direction. I'm someone who draws monkfish teeth on the Pope's face more than three times a day, more than 30 times. Pope's hands are up on the dining table, 
Things dragged up from the deep sea, things that flew in the sky, things that used to run about in the meadows, trucks, carts, ships, all entered the hole dangling from the chin of his holy face, the holy consciousness of his mouth. Pope's underlings in white outfits circle me and shout, for one woman who writes poetry, you need a thousand doctors. Teeth dangling from the top and bottom of my wound turn crimson. Speak, speak. A thousand lab laborers and excavators are digging up my tongue. Infants with gaping mouths are endlessly excavated from my mouth, but I'll never confess. Because my thighs bleed when you stab the confession I give birth to. When my gums take off their slips all at once and dribble, a thousand deep sea monkfish unzip in unison and dribble. I'm a woman who pisses a toothed sunset under my skirt. After I finish pissing, I insert a full moon between my thighs and coddle it. Thank you. Thank you so much, Kim Hyson, Dan Mi Che, and Jack Jung. Please join us for a reception. There's formaggio food in the back. Grow Your Poetry Bookshop is um, selling books and a limited edition signed broadside that they all signed this morning. So please join us for that. And also, last but not least, um, I want to take as our mantra um, Kim Hyson's statement, I take a step toward where I do not exist. So before you leave, please step toward where you do not exist and introduce yourself to someone you have not met before. I will be watching. Uh, thank you so much.